Hello, this is a Bluthner Style 7 Grand Piano, made in 1920. It's six foot three inches long and just come into stock, so just seeing what sort of work you might need to do to refine it. The casework is very good indeed. Really, there's no fading at all and it's in extremely good condition. Uh, our polisher will have a look at it and see if we can improve it further. But I think, generally speaking, it's... Um, well, it's wonderful rosewood pianos. We really, really appreciate them. This is a, a younger piano than most, so the rosewood's not quite so figured. Um, the earlier ones, made in 1900, tend to be more figured. Um, so it's almost looking like mahogany, but it is definitely rosewood. And uh, we have actually uh, paperwork from Bluthners when they sold it to show that it is rosewood as well. And uh, when they sold the piano, we'll show you some details later on. But uh, just looking at the case, it's very good condition. It, it isn't, it looks rather shiny here, but in fact, it, uh, it's just a reflection. There's a lot of reflection here. So it's, it's good uh, French polish, I think, or I'm not certain it's French polish, but it's in very good condition. Uh, so the casework is good throughout. The legs need a bit of tidying up, but that's something our polisher will do. It doesn't need repolishing. And there's a little blemish here. I think he'll probably manage to improve that. Now it's got ivory keys, in the centre here some have come off and been stuck back on, you can see the stronger line uh, and they're not quite f level so that's something we'd like to improve. We can obviously change the ivories and put uh, uh, modern key tops on instead which is often done especially if they're exported because it's quite hard to export ivory. Uh, ivory can't go to the USA for instance or at least it, it's not a, the customs will reject it. So down the bottom there they're perfect but you can see where it's been played, they've come off and been stuck back on. Some of them very well stuck back, but they you know, certainly want to improve that, and they need buffing as well, otherwise they tend to attract the dirt. The legroom is 61 centimetres, so it's uh, pretty normal really, but the pedals are very low, that's fit five and a half, uh, which is a good height, so it does mean you could put caster cups under if you wanted to have more legroom. The frame on the inside is in very good condition, um, the tuning pins are tight, that's obviously something very important that we check, except for one tuning pin, which is this one down here where the strings have been replaced. It's better to replace the tuning pin as well, because when you replace it, you tend to loosen the tuning pin. I have temporarily reset it further in and it is tight enough then, but it was very loose and you have to hold this and then hit it on the top. This is called a rest pin resetter, which is a very important tool because otherwise it turns round if you don't have this tool. Now the string itself is a very good match um, if we listen to the ones next to it. Well actually the damping as you can hear needs improving, the dampers aren't really, um, aren't really hugging the string properly but well, that's something we'll do. Um, but the tone is a very good match. You can see these are not original Blutner strings. Um, we'll just have a look at some originals so you can see what they look like. Here's a Bluthner with original Bluthner strings. Now if you see they're combed and they taper right to the end there. So there's no, if you look at the other ones, there's a slight ridge here where you've got the undercovering and the overcovering. But these, the overcovering tapers over the undercovering. So going back to the one we're assessing, you see um, there's overcovering there and undercovering here. Now it has the Bluster patent action which we've shown many times before with the L-shaped spring here. This Richard Lipgran has a normal style with um, little uh, capstans here, buttons and, and uh, the jack here. Now the piano was resold by Bluton in 1959 and not a huge amount of wear since. Uh, they could do with some light refacing but those hammers are pretty much 100%, say 95%. So uh, that's very encouraging, and the tone of them, they're very hard. I always check the hardness of the hammers by pushing, so you can get my nail into it. Uh, down here they should be soft, and then as they go up they get harder, and then you, you voice the top of the hammer very gently. So here's the worksheet made for the piano, um, and the main work is down here which is changing pin five, um, lubricate. Yes, I forgot to mention that, sorry about that. The balance rail needs lubricating um, to bring the weights down and then we have to also weight the keys a bit. But if I just show you, as we've done many times before, 
don't pull, try and pull the keys up from the end if it's ivory because you might pull the, the front the top off but if you lift it up it doesn't go back down and that's the case with nearly all of them and that's why the actions or one of the reasons why the actions heavy so uh, uh, that will reduce the weight when we've done that and then we'll see if we have to also do some reweighting. I'll just compare the tone with some other pianos This is the other blue that I was showing the strings on. Now that's one that we've really finished off refining, so that's how the other one will sound, hopefully. This is the Bechstein Model B 1911. Here's the top treble on all three pianos. So that's the Luther Style 7 Grand Piano, 6 foot 3 inches long, made in 1920. And we're very pleased to get this piano into stock. It has a beautiful tone, as Bluton is it's so consistent really. And because the hammers are good, and we need to do some regulation. There's quite a bit of work to do just to perfect it. The touch is not right really, but that, that's something we're used to doing and always having to do. If you're interested in the piano and you'd like to do a video, well, we can do a video call while we're in front of it. That seems to work quite well. Or, or um, if you want to try it, try it out, rent it for a month and uh, see if you like the piano, then that's something we're doing during the lockdown. It has a beautiful bass sound. A mid treble. Really consistent throughout. Such an even tone. It's a bit difficult to play at the moment because it's not very even, um, but it will be as good as any other Blutner when we've, this, the action has been perfect condition really. Right down to the bottom note, such a full tone. Thank you very much for listening.